All right, so this is Team Central Jersey. We meet every Wednesday uh, for Relaxed Teams. It, uh, we start at 8 a.m. Anyone is welcome to join. You can just go to Relaxed Teams slash CNJ, uh, hit the Zoom link, and you can join us at that time. Um, today, uh, we, we always start with a couple of shout outs. And first person I'd like to call was Rochelle. Good morning, everybody. I'm going to give a shout out to Dennis. Um, so Dennis is, um, helps my husband and I with our um, taxes and accounting, and I'm in the process of expanding my business, and Dennis has been really um, wonderful during this process, as usual. He's helped us through as a couple, but he's really helping me with my individual needs as my, with my business, and he got on a call with me this week, even though he wasn't feeling good, and really just made sure I had everything straight, and with the new accounts I'm opening up, and it's just not being a numbers person, having Dennis by my side is extremely helpful. So thank you, Dennis. Excellent, excellent. We're so excited to see your center when you open it. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be telling us about it. Really excited. Thanks, and Dennis. next up, we had Drew. Yeah, I have a couple. I have one for Dennis and one for Danelle. Dennis, uh, I'm enjoying working with Dennis. He's um, I'm one of his clients. He just filed my 21 uh, tax returns. And I know from what he says that the fun is only beginning because then we get to go over every line item I spent on in the last year and he's going to help me retain more. And I can't wait for that because it's going to be always nice to, to have additional money that I should be in my pocket, not in, not the government. So this is going to be cool. I'm looking forward to, to the journey with you, Mr. Sir Dennis. So, and um, my other one is to Danelle. Um, her presentation last week completely inspired me. It was, it was awesome. Um, and so uh, I just want to let you know that, you know, you don't realize the impact of the knowledge you give away. Um, so I just wanted to tell you that it, it actually uh, resonated with me. So thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There you go. And I, and I will shout out that uh, I have this on my next to my chair now. <laughs> <laughs> so that I can get up every once in a while. And well, I you know, it's funny, Danelle, because I'm doing this thing now. And sometimes I forget I do it while I'm on Zoom with somebody. And I just have to be professional. I'm like this. And I they do this. And I'm like, oh, geez, I'm on camera. So, but that's I, the beauty <laughs> about my profession. I do that all the time. And people are just like, oh, that's just Danelle being oh, fitness God. Danelle. So I, I hear you, though. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. And with that, we'll turn it over to Wendy. Wonderful. Good morning, everyone. I'm Wendy Kushnicki. I'm an independent consultant with Pampered Chef. If you're not familiar with Pampered Chef, we are a direct sales company and our products are all kinds of kitchen tools to make it easier for you to get a meal on the table. Now, we are not like one of those food service companies. I don't grocery shop for you. You have to do your own grocery shopping, although we do have seasoning, spices, oils, sauces, um, that kind of thing again, to help you get a meal on the table. So um, I started my business about six years ago because I love to cook, I love to entertain, and I was looking for some income. I had some very flexible hours and Pamper Chef has more than exceeded my expectations um, as far as that's concerned. So um, that being said, I love to talk about food and I love to talk about how to help you get a meal on the table. So Today, we are going to talk about some of those mealtime challenges and how you can overcome them. Okay, so this is gonna be very interactive. I wanna hear from you guys. So come off of mute and I want to hear what are some of your challenges to getting a meal on the table at the end of the day? Deciding what to cook. Nobody yes. wants to cook, yeah. Yeah, I have no idea what to make. It's like same things over and over and over. Well, I love to cook uh, and I, I have a personal trainer three times a week and uh, we talk about nutrition and things that I should be eating. And I always, almost every day, end up eating chicken with salad. <laughs> oh, right. That meal time, right. Okay, what else? Why else do we have trouble getting a meal on the table and go to the drive through That one missing ingredient. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, and how to substitute for that. Sure. You can always text me for that, Desiree, by the way. I'm happy to help you with that. Okay. Thank you. And anybody busy else? Schedules. Oh, yeah, the schedule. You know, right? Yeah, the kids' time. busy schedules. Yeah. Right. Like kids time. Busy. Like, they don't all like the same thing. Yeah. Picky eaters. Absolutely. I have food allergies in my house. 
So that's always challenging as well. And for those of you who are on special diets or whatever, again, that's the same type of challenge where you're not eating whatever. Okay, so here's a few tips for you. Okay, first things first, everybody should know how to cook at least the basics. Um, Yeah, right, so now. So um, you start with simple things. Don't be intimidated by it. Just start with simple recipes. If you need some help with that, let me know and I can send you some. Same thing if you need some dinner time inspiration, you can always shoot me a message and I'm happy to help you with that. Um, teach your kids how to cook because kids who know how to cook will be able to, they'll eat healthier as adults. They will be more fit as adults because they won't feel like they always have to go out for pizza or burger or you know, constantly eating all that heavy fatty food. Um, and the more that you do it, the easier it gets. So you wanna make mealtime fun, okay? So again, get your kids involved. Those picky eaters that we talked about before, they are more likely to eat what they cook. So, If you get them involved and you say, hey, what kind of seasoning do you want on the chicken? You know, let them pick it because if they, and it doesn't matter what it is. Okay, trust me, we've made some gross things in my house. Okay, but let them make what they want to make because they will try it and they will eat it. And they're still learning how to, um, you know, put a meal on the table and hone those skills and figure out what they will eat and what they do like. So um, we went through a phase, everything had ketchup on it, you know, or the kids are only eating five things, you know, pick a night where the kids choose what you're having for dinner instead of you choosing what you're having for dinner. And that kind of takes away that, um, that need for inspiration as well. Um, Did you know that families who come together at night and the kids sit at the dinner table are five times more likely to do better in school? That is a huge statistic. It is so important to come together at the end of the day and make mealtime fun and, you know, whatever it might be, but just a chance to reconnect at the end of the day and figure out what their challenges are, give them a safe place to talk about what's bothering them in school, what do they need help in, celebrate their successes, that kind of thing. One way to get around the picky eater challenge is ask your family every few months what their top 10 favorite foods are, and then try to incorporate those into your recipes. So if one month it might be chicken, but then after eating chicken for three months, they may be tired of it. And so they're going to turn around and they're like, well, you know, it's going to be beef or it's going to be whatever, beans or whatever. So it could be shrimp or fish too. So, you know, expose them to all different kinds of things, but find out what their top 10 are. You don't have to make them every single night, but from those top 10, you have a good foundation to mix it up and make all different kinds of things. Sorry, turn on the page. Oh, and then the last tip that I have is have a DIY night. It could be any night. It could be a Taco Tuesday. It could be a Pizza Friday. And you don't have to make this stuff from scratch. You know, we have, you can get pre-made seasonings or crust mixes or whatever, but you can do a baked potato bar. You can do uh, grain bowls, whether it's rice or quinoa or um, pasta or any of those, and just have four or five toppings and let your kids choose which ones that they want. Um, You could even do a salad bar or do, uh, you know, Sunday night charcuterie, where you just put out a big plate. Uh, Right, exactly, Janelle, that's so much fun, isn't it? You know, you just have some meat and cheese and, um, you know, some fruit to go with it, some veggie sticks, make some hummus or healthy kind of dip. Um, Again, if you need recipes for any of this stuff, or if you don't know how to do a charcuterie board, let me know. I am more than happy to help you with that. So the bottom line is, Food is powerful, and the process of sitting down and sharing a meal with your family is one of our foundations. And to make it more enjoyable, more fun, these are just some tips that you can try, you know, and work it in with your lifestyle, your family. I know life gets busy. I have three boys. They all did sports, and, you know, things get really chaotic. 
my um, pressure cooker is my best friend because I can throw everything in and it stays hot. So if, you know, you're eating with one kid and then two hours later, somebody's eating with the other kids, you can work it out that way. And everybody still gets a hot meal and maybe you have leftovers for the next day. Potluck night's another great one. If you have leftovers from two or three days, just do a potluck bar and let everybody pick the leftovers that they like. So every meal at your table is creating memories with your family. And it's like I said before, it's an opportunity to reconnect at the end of the day and find out what's going on in everybody's life. Do you guys have any questions? I do. You, you mentioned about pressure cooker. I, I'm from Brazil originally, so I brought my pressure cooker from Brazil 20 years, 20 some years ago. Uh -huh. And I'm afraid that one day it's just not going to work anymore. So uh, do you uh, like, do you have that product or you do? Okay. Yes. Yes. We actually just came out with, um, it's not just a pressure cooker. It is also a slow cooker and it's a sous vide machine. So if you're familiar with sous vide, where you um, have the control temperature water bath and you put your food in a um, watertight bag and you cook it in there for a couple of hours, that's also another great technique if you are eating in shifts because your meats and vegetables can sit in that water bath for hours. And when you're ready to eat, you just take it out, sear it in a pan and you're good to go. So you don't have that time crunch. Dinner's already made because you made it ahead of time. Mine, mine is an ancient one. It's, it's yeah, yours vintage. is the kind that's on the stove it's, it's top vintage. that my mother was afraid of. Everybody's afraid when I'm start cooking. Everybody runs away. So I'm interested <laughs> in find out more. And I would say for everybody, that's the absolutely best to in the kitchen. You cook a whole chicken in less than twenty minutes in that thing. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's in, it's incredible. Anything. Like it dissolves bones. I do bone broth in the pressure cooker in like 45 minutes. It's absolutely amazing. So the, um, the, the advantage to pressure cooking too with vegetables is they don't lose all their nutrients and their texture. So your vegetables are not going to be a pile of mush in the bottom of your pot like they are in a slow cooker. So that's huge. You know, if you're having a hard enough time getting your kids to eat vegetables because you want them to have the nutrients, you don't want to ruin all the vitamins in it by cooking it for 10 hours in a slow cooker. So a crock, pot, a crock pot's the same thing as a slow cooker, right? Right. Okay. When well, you have pressure cooker, it's, it's magic. You need to try it. <laughs> Shirley, yeah, I'll in, put my in, info in the contact, awesome. so in the chat, so we can talk later. Perfect. Thank you. Go ahead, Desiree. Wendy, so my challenge at home is that I try to be to eat like carb free meals, but all my kids want are carbs. And so it's like yeah. converting a spaghetti and meatballs into a carb free meal without, you know, like I like to make homemade pasta, but the the um gluten free kind of pasta and stuff like that it's, it's just not, it's not as easy to make. And it's, it's, it's like, it's just such a challenge for me to, to make them happy and me happy at the same time because of the carb free part of it. I will tell you one um, easy trick that you can do Desiree is, um, do you have a spiralizer? Um, I don't think so. No. Okay. So like I'm going to hook you up with a spiralizer only because I, I'm sorry, there is nothing that grosses me out more than buying zoodles in the store because <laughs> first of all, you don't know how long those vegetables have been sitting there before yeah. somebody decided they were going to make zoodles out of them. <laughs> they come sitting in that puddle of water. So you, like that just skeeves me. And they are like four times more money than if you were to just buy the zucchini and spiralize it yourself. So if you have a spiralizer, you could still make your sauce and meatballs, but give your kids the pasta and mm -hmm. just pour that hot sauce and hot meatballs on top of a bowl of zoodles. You don't even have to cook the zoodles if you put hot sauce on it. If you let it sit for a minute or two, they cook themselves. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So I'll put my link in the chat and we could definitely sure. connect later and I can hook you up with that. Awesome. Thank you. Sure. Anybody else? This is great. Thank you. 
You're oh, welcome. Thank you one, guys. I appreciate all the questions and the interaction. Wendy, one tip I do have for breakfast is mm -hmm. I have an instant pot. I don't know if anybody else has one, but I make steel cut oats with like raisins and honey and cinnamon in the morning. And I just make one batch and it yeah, lasts that's me for like a week. And it takes four minutes on high pressure to cook. It's like amazing. So if you guys do have a pressure cooker, you got to, if you don't have one, get one. And if you do have one and you don't use it, start using it. <laughs> yeah, you're exact. And that's another great DIY bar that you could do with your family too. And just do it for breakfast or do it on the weekends because you could put all kinds of toppings out to go with those steel cut oats. And everybody's getting a healthy breakfast. They choose the fruit that they want, or they could have a little bit of honey or, mm -hmm. you know, um, some like raisins or cranberries or whatever. You could throw that in there. So that's a brilliant idea. Thanks for bringing that up. Excellent. And here is all Wendy's information. So uh, kick it off, I will get started. Um, my name is Dennis Harabin. I am the founder of Relax Tax, and we are obsessed with helping people to retain more of what they earn. We really have it down to a science once you've, um, you know, with what you're making, how to uh, help you process it and to uh, leverage your tax insurance and debt to make sure that you retain more of what you earn. And that's one of the reasons why relaxed teams came to be was, um, you know, we can only do so much with what you're earning. So we're trying to help people to earn more, to work together and to grow and to be able to find more ways um, to grow, to have more to retain. So uh, anything you need to do help with that area, feel free to reach out. Next, we have Relax Benefits and Relax Benefits Candido, you're here to talk about, right? Yep. Good morning, everybody. And Relax Benefits is the arm for uh, Relax Tax that um, enhances and help business owners um, figure out which are the, the, right, um, the right benefits for their company to take advantage of uh, tax, tax discounts and credits, and, and also uh, increase employee retention by offering, their, by offering employees um, a good set of uh, benefits that will help them not only save for retirement, but also um, health insurance and uh, and 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 uh, and, tele and telemedicine. So, uh. all right. Next up, we have Desiree. Oh, couldn't find the mute button. Sorry, guys. Hi, everyone. My name is Desiree Halleck, and I'm the owner of Clarence Services, which is a marketing agency for startups and small businesses. And we help our clients learn that they can grow their businesses without boiling the ocean or breaking the bank. Uh, we offer services like fractional CMO services, email marketing, uh, social media maintenance, blog writing. We do um, very affordable videos. And uh, we you can uh, find us at clarentservices.com or check out our uh, five minute marketing with Clarent on YouTube series. Next up is Lisa. Lisa's not here. Paul's not here. Jake's not here. George isn't here. We'll jump to Danelle. Woo, that went fast. Hi, I'm <laughs> Danelle Bingle from a Be Dance and Fitness, which is a fun and supportive online fitness community. We work with real people who have uh, trouble sticking to their health and fitness goals. Just starting a new three-month program where our first meeting is tonight, so I'm really excited. We're already talking about some of the goals. Some people are working on nighttime snacking. Some people are working on adding some extra vegetables. Some people are working on just getting out and taking a walk every day. It's different for everyone. So if you know someone who could use that type of support, um, please send them my way because we know changing behavior can be challenging and having non-judgmental account accountability is really essential for success. Danelle Bingle from Upbeat Dance and Fitness. Next up, we have Rochelle. Good morning, everybody. My name is Rochelle DiCrescenzo. I'm a physical therapist. My practice is The Healing Journey. I'm located in Clinton. I specialize in a type of holistic treatment called John Barnes Myofascial Release. And I help people live a pain-free lifestyle and get back to the activities that they love to do or they're unable to do because of their pain or um, you know, whatever is going on in their body. So when I work with people, um, I think what makes me different is I really look at the whole person. It's not just the symptom. The symptom is just the tip of the iceberg. 
And there's always more to the symptom. It's never just shoulder pain, back pain, elbow pain. Um, there's usually so much more behind it. So I partner with my patients to get to the root cause. So they're able to get back to the things they love to do. And up next is Tracy, who's not here, but I'm going to read for Tracy. Um, Tracy is the, Tracy Piaggi is the owner of and founder of Slingshot Health Coaching. She's a functional nutrition and lifestyle practitioner, a uh, national board certified health and wellness coach, aiming clinic brain health specialist, and AACC mental health coach. She works with families struggling with mental health and wellness challenges that Western medicine has not been able to explain or resolve. Together, they focus on functional nutrition and lifestyle support through personal exploration, education, and various therapies while navigating relational healing for a truly holistic experience. Tracy empowers families to reach their fullest potential. And you can find her on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and slingshothc.com. Tracy is wonderful. I personally work with her and she has helped me tremendously. Up next is Candida. Well, yep. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Candido Rodriguez. I'm a financial planner with No Western Mutual. And me and my team are passionate about helping business owners and individuals find the best options available in order to make sound financial decisions while enjoying life fully. Uh, we, do do, we do this by exploring the best ways to save for education, retirement, uh, taking a unique approach uh, to create a, a personalized plan that will make them feel confident of their financial decisions while building wealth and successfully maintaining uh, their financial security. We've also done some level of planning, but what we do is we bring it all together and uh, make sure that all the pieces fit so that we help you live today while planning for the future. And next in the deck is Drew. Good morning, everybody. I'm Drew Duraney. As a strategic partner with the cost reduction consulting firm, Schooley Mitchell, I help proactive businesses across all of North America improve their profit margin by reducing their expenses with current service providers. All businesses deserve to pay fair prices and 85% are overpaying for the business services. I help keep more of their hard-earned money in their budget. Warm introductions to dentists and dental hygienists are appreciated. Drew Durrani with Schooley Mitchell. We increase your profit. We are your vendor watchdog. Yeah, 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 just good. Maggie. Um, hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Maggie Morris. I'm the owner of Prim Bookkeeping. I um, offer bookkeeping and payroll services to small businesses. My goal is to be an extension of your business um, and deliver accurate and timely financials to accommodate cash flow, profitability, and growth. Um, you can reach me at Maggie at primbookkeeping.com. And next up is Tim. Uh, Tim is, uh, and Tim isn't here. He said he would be coming in around the 8.30 mark. So uh, we'll try to move his card accordingly. Um, so next up, we have uh, Bizona CRM. Um, it's part of our business on a browser. So again, as I mentioned, we took off relaxed teams in order to uh, help our businesses to be able to earn more revenue so that they can retain it in the future. And what business on the browser is, is your makes your back office better. It is one solution that helps you with your phone, your text, your email, your website, your funnels, uh, training programs, and more. It allows you to have a fully integrated CRM package that will, perfect timing, that will work, uh, work with your organization. Uh, if you know, if you find that where you go someplace and they're automatically getting back to you, they're having those tools, they're using automation, they're using automation similar to what Bizona CRM does, but we do it at a better cost. Next up, if he's ready, we have Tim. Hey. Hello, can you hear me? We can. Great. Hi, everybody. My name is Tim Stollery, and I am a videographer, a three-time Emmy Award-winning videographer. I have a passion for telling stories uh, with deep research and video and sounds and audio. And if you know anybody who needs a video, or if you need a video, please give me a shout. Next up is Project Scholarship. And finally, Project Scholarship works. Um, uh, Project Scholarship Relax Teams has uh, it's a five hundred one five hundred one C three nonprofit organization whose purpose is to help students go from college to career with less debt. 
Um, initial, well, the initial goal was to really create scholarships for students that are currently attending school. But what we found is we've actually been a lot more successful with helping students to uh, go right into professional uh, programs. Uh, get Coursera courses, get uh, uh, get certificates from uh, certified in Google products, other tools, uh, right with for the cost of what one scholarship would give them that they could win, which put a debt in their books for a semester. Prof uh, students are getting full on professional, avoiding the uh, avoiding the need to have any college debt, which is crippling families. So with that, that is the end of our uh, presentation for today. Again, if you want to join Relax Teams, you can come here any Wednesday, 8 a.m. Feel free to go to Relax Teams, Team Central Jersey. Everyone is welcome. Um, and then we meet after. Thanks, everyone. And that's the end of our live stream.